What's up guys, we're out here at Fabtech Expo in Orlando, Florida. We're here with Brad from Tig Aesthetics. What do you think about the show so far? What's up guys, very busy this year, 2024. Uh, Orlando, never been before, so they've got an awesome convention center. We are packed full. There's millions of booths, probably not, but close. So I'm out here exhibiting my perch plugs. Uh, we're adding a little bit to the lineup uh, in the coming years, I've got prototypes out. Uh, another really popular one for this industry or combination of industries is our trailing shields. But we're looking to get into, you know, some of the rocket manufacturers, a uh, super wide array of industries that need high purity welding, both inside with our perch plugs and outside. Yeah, so what's up with these blocks down here? Oh yeah, these are brand new products. We are showing off prototypes of this show. I'm hoping to have these ready for the 2025 season to come out. But we're gonna get into some work holding stuff here. Uh, every fabricator's got random scraps or pieces of metal from old jobs on their workbench to prop parts on, right? While you're welding them, it's gotta be held just right. I definitely have come up with some contraptions. Absolutely. So nobody sells anything really made for that. So what this is is a modular setup that you can snap together. You can orient this any way you want, smaller and taller, or if you have a large tube to fit in at a lower height, uh, you want to adapt these guys onto the side. Uh, we're also going to be doing a one, two, three block, oh, but this is those. my take on the one, two, three block, something that snaps to the other one. Mm -hmm. And what that does also, since it goes halfway down on the one inch section, you'll have, so we're at three and a half inch height here. Uh, and if I were to stack another one on top, it would be at four inches for that. Um, you can just never have enough ways to, to get your weld held and to I be even, comfortable. I've even used it as like a hand prop. I'm welding 100%. something up here. So 100%. You kind of put your hand and hold it there. So you got it. Definitely, definitely excited for that. Yeah, great. So I was hoping to get some feedback at the show this week. I just got my hands on these prototypes a week or two ago before the show. So I brought them out and uh, we're just kind of gathering some intelligence, seeing what the what the market thinks. But we're three days in on the show and I think everybody's excited to have them. Uh, everybody wants to know how much and when can I buy it? So I think it means it's time to just go through That's it. it. Man. That's it. So I've got a ramp up packaging for them. We'll get the machine shop busy and we'll, we'll put them in stock. Oh, I've got one other new piece to show you guys here. This is a fun one. We're not really changing the game here, but nobody sells anything like these. So everybody's broken ceramic cups or even the glass ones. I'm right? guilty of that. So we've got uh, a, a silicone <laughs> ring condom. Yep. Cool. To fit over. That fits any cup from a 12 to a 16. Take a step. So three eighths all the way up to a one inch welding cup. Yeah. Uh, and this holds up to heat, just like these. Huh? Yeah, sure. So long as it's the same exact material. All my prototypes are black. We won't sell black ones. We always have, you know, fun colors. We definitely want pink. They have pink. Well, you say less. No. Pink it will be. I should actually have a lot of those at PRI coming up in December this year. So these were a little more complicated. I started these long before this. Mold products. Yeah. Um, we've got a mold of silicone. So now those are my like verifications that the molds are good. So I'll get the guys working on colors. Uh, we'll get a bunch bagged up and maybe we'll even give a bunch of them away in uh, here. I just awesome so, yeah. yeah, that's the new stuff so far this year. Uh, expect to see more development on the purse plug lineup. I'm going to be adding larger schedule pipe sizes for some of the more industrial guys. Because yeah, currently see, only yeah, offer a schedule. Yeah, four inch there. So we want to be able to service uh, any market that needs high purity welding. Absolutely. That's the name of the game. So here's your, just your average, real similar to a vacuum line, but this is a silicone hose. You can see it's super flexible, more so than any of the other ones. And then it snaps over our shower head fittings that give you a little bit of extra gas diffusion inside the plug there. And then obviously the same deal over here, only this one uses a high pressure hose with a quick disconnect fitting. And my favorite feature uh, with this setup is that when you unplug the hose, it stops the gas flow, saving gas effectively and not blowing it out when you're not welding. So if you uh, want to shut it off, you just unplug the hose and you are all finished. Uh, purge plugs from one inch all the way up to six inch. And that's our, that's our selection, at least as of right now. I'm sure there will be more in the future. Stick around. Cool, man. Well, thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure to see you, man. Glad to see you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Fabtech show. Check you next time.